you would no longer deny me the importance of my existence. I am significant. No needed to sit upon an auction block to be exhibited. Sarah Bartman, Caroline Nicole, mutilated body. But see, you miss my soul. Miss my soul. We are the same, struggle in body, but different last name, hot and tight Venus, video vixen, bars go to Jupiter to get more stupider, sexuality we reclaim, my nakedness is what you praise, how you get paid, or did we forget, said America was built off this shit, patriarchal, capitalistic, voyeuristic, simply artistic, the African body turned into a commodity, raped and beaten, stripped of all humanity, no, no dignity, no, no dignity, no, no dignity, said no doubt they had to bag us up, animalized, dehumanized, commodified, colonized, criminalized, victimized, illegalized, gentrified, homicide, menticide, suicide, conquer, divide, Black Holocaust conquer divide. Black Holocaust conquer divide. Black Holocaust, they made you choose sides like team light skin, team dark skin. They made you choose side like bleach my skin, bleach her skin. Bounty. They've been hunting for a while now. They made you choose hide like Uncle Tom and Miss Anne. Go seek. Your identity is probably drowning in a creek. Go seek. Your resilience is probably being lynched in a tree. Go seek. Your heart has turned black like the tar. Baby, go seek. Your humanity is being stolen from you like a thief in the night, except this time you are being robbed. Female circumcision so you cannot throb, so you cannot feel, so you cannot heal. Go seek. Bounty. They've been hunting for a while now, but this time, not only is there a price on your life, but there is a price on your identity. I need you to not hide. I need you to go seek. What is it worth to remember? How much will it cost you to forget? Based on the commitments of the choices that you've made, it will sure enough impact how you live. How y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it is so good to be home. What y'all are getting ready to hear today is about more than ideas worth sharing, but it is indeed about realities worth receiving. Anytime I, Caroline Nicole Bennett, have an opportunity or a moment to center black girls, I will. I am unapologetically, transparently, and artistically inclined to do so. See, when you talk about black girls, or when you talk with black girls, or when you talk to black girls, the words and the phrases that you use can't afford to be, um, how can I put this? They can't afford to be basic, right? Period. Because we are more complex than research makes us out to be. We are far more creative than policies birthed out of fear only to find its manifestation in practices channeled through people's personas. Personally, I don't get it. Collectively, we ain't with it. And we too damn wise to not question uncritical mandates directed towards us by culturally incompetent teachers and other authority figures. And lastly, we have been summoned by Auntie Maxine Waters to reclaim our time. Because black girls be dismissed from spaces. Black girls be discouraged, no pursuing, they're ruined weekly basis. I see it because I work with them every day. So my challenge to myself is to not only reclaim my time, but it is to reclaim my edges. She snatched all my edges. Is a popular phrase birthed out of black girl culture. It is often used to give kudos to how amazingly dope something was or someone is. While the phrase itself is a figure of speech, the word edges has material meanings. It is a double entendre. On one hand, gel, jam, and edge control are popular hair products in black girl culture designed to tame or style our baby hairs, better known as edges. Damn, sis, your edges is laid. While on the other hand, write-ups in school suspensions and suspicious expulsions are unpleasant realities in black girl trajectories designed to discipline and detain our black girlness, also better known as edges. When I think of edges as it pertains to black girls, it is their voice, it is their expression, it is their movement, it is their look, it is their light, it is their laugh, it's their language. It's their sound, it's their silence or lack thereof. It is their history. 
It's their reputation. It's their ability to get shit done. It is their desire to take risk without taking opinions. It is their presence. It's their vibe. It is that inborn creativity. It is their hair. And while we are not our hair, and though we will still knock a few bucks, so just know, don't touch my hair. And while there is no age limit as to how old we can be to rock rough and stuff with our Afro puff, hey, rock on with your bad self. I have found so much joy in knowing that I learned so much about black girls based on the attention that they give to their edges. Not the hair, but their edges. So there it was. I was taken aback because I remember when I was a little girl, I didn't quite understand the importance of, um, of my edges, right? I didn't understand why they wouldn't lay down. And so I took it upon myself. I made up in my mind that I was going to deal with these little baby hairs of mine. I grabbed some scissors. I went into the bathroom, and I made a decision that I wasn't old enough, neither was I tall enough to make. And I stood on that toilet seat, and I began trimming away. All the hairs at the front of my head that just wouldn't lay down. Why? Because they were difficult. They were disobedient. They were defiant because they wouldn't lay down like the rest of my hair. They were disruptive to my entire outfit. How are you going to be cute with a piece of hair sticking up? It don't really work. It don't. And they were disobedient. All the hairs, I got rid of them. And in the midst of me getting rid of them, my mama walks into the bathroom. She notices the scissors in my left hand. She sees the hair on the ground, and she also sees me standing on this toilet seat. And out of all things she probably should have said, she says, Caroline, what are you doing? Get down, needless to say. I was responsible for sweeping up all the hairs that I had justifiably, in my mind, in my mind, I had, I had removed my mind, my mind, my mind, I think about it all the time, my mind, my mind, my mind, I think about it all the time, I think about it all, all the time, y'all. The same way that I saw the hairs at the front of my head, my baby hairs, better known as edges, it's the same way that some of y'all and other people saw me, my black girlness. It's the same way that other black girls see themselves as difficult, too difficult to deal with, disruptive, disobedient, disrespectful, defiant. So I posed the question that I knew, I knew black girls would have an answer to, and that is what do our edges really mean? While Google defines edges as the outside limits of an object, area, or surface, the place furthest away from the center, we have another understanding of what edges are. We have a different understanding of what edges are. So allow us to edge. Eh, GK, you. If you want to be educated, let me hear you say, hey. Yeah. If you want to be educated, let me hear you say, what up, though? Ooh, y'all all right with me. To black girls. Edges is art. Edges is art. It is, because you it can is. do different things with it. Let them tell it. Edges make them want to swoop, swoop. Swoop. Yes, edges is art, but edges be armor to black girls. I mean, why else would we say? I have destructible edges where if I rub them, they don't mess up. Listen, um, I don't know if y'all could hear the intensity in that young lady's voice, but she was serious about them edges. She said if she rubs them, they won't mess up. That means her edges are committed. Say committed. Oh, look at y'all knowing something. Committed. And even though some of our edges aren't as committed as hers, we still understand that our edges... They're not a necessity, but they're important. They're not a necessity, but they're important. So in other words, all we're trying to say is that the same thing that people, practices, and policies try to strip black girls of, they might not be a necessity to us, but they are damn sure important to us. Edges be versatile to black girls. 
Edges be compliment to black girls. Edges be strength to black girls. Edges be pride to black girls. Edges be freedom to black girls. And so there it was. She asked me, would you pull up to the scene with your ceiling missing? Unapologetically, transparently, and artistically, I am responding. Black girl, don't you move around this world with your edges slipping. Take off the gloves, roll up your sleeves, give your edges privilege because I'm going to fight for you. Pick up a pen, blood, sweat, and tears. This girl right here, she going to write for you. You'll be surprised what they say about you in the meetings. Telling lies, playing victim, girl, your blackness is lethal. You's a threat. Did you know that? She's definitely displaying violent behavior. She's entirely way too loud. I can't even hear myself think. And at this point, aggressive is, it's an understatement. But I didn't quite experience that. She is a force. Make an impact, girl. Be proud. You better wear that, girl. Be loud. You better say that. Because your edges is laid to the gods, baby. So we rebelling. In the form of clapbacks, we ready. In this space with snapbacks, we resilient. In this world, we bounce back, said we reaping. Reparations, no cash apps, said we real. Humanized, no hashtags, said we right. No auditions, just call back, said we raw. Can't take heat? Then I suggest, I suggest you fall back. Because our edges are your boundaries. Our freedom is what you fear. Our essence is the very thing that you hope for, but will never, ever, 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 ever get near. You've just been educated. Thank y'all.